Squad. Today is day one of E3. So the way this is gonna work is that I'm not gonna upload any of my reactions um, to anything that is shown on E3 till after. It's gonna be the day after E3 is over. Uh, before you guys will see my reactions, I'll have a reaction of Squid reactions and my reactions coming piled together. It's gonna be great, guys. We're gonna be ranking uh, our top five games in order from the not so great to the great. Top five best games. Here you go. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's me here again, the Squid, the Kid, the 24th, back again for Nintendo's E3 collabs. Now, if you don't know, we are doing, I don't know, maybe two or three more. I don't know, I'm pre recording this crap, and heck, he asked me to talk, so I'm gonna talk to you guys. And now, here, we are gonna be doing a top five best Nintendo games, Nintendo Switch games. So, Alexa, go! Talking about I said why is number five <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing I'm sorry. Okay, so let's just get right into this. Arms is the number five the spot on here because I guess personally my favorite game on Nintendo Switch because me and Nintendo kinda of make a couple compromises here and there. So we decided that hey this could be a great number five, a good entrance. Because you know arms like cut chow, cut chow, cut chow. You know it's all really cool and nanny. Because you know arms I feel like it's a very underrated game on Switch. With all of his characters and content now, I feel like everyone should play it and love it and enjoy it a lot more. I love talking fast because I like talking fast and you know. I feel like a rapper, like I'm an. I don't care anymore. I don't know. Arms is a great game. A lot more content than they did launch. I feel like people ain't given it a chance because it at least with minimum or bare content. So yes, please go check it out. It's a great game. This is going to be the Squid, the Kid, the 24th going to Nintendo. So number four. In my opinion, um, Squid and I talked about this, and um, he actually told me to say Splatoon, but because I'm a rebel, I'm gonna say Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Is that right? Yes, um, so I feel like it's the perfect game to play with your friends. Now, uh, Kirby Star Allies, um, it, it, I, I didn't feel like it was like, I didn't feel like it had enough hype to be uh, in, in this uh, list because Kirby Star Allies is a good game to play with your friends, but that's not what this is about. Car uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, it, when it released, it was like a brand new game. and. Like, for real. We had people uh, camping out for it and everything. For it. It, it was the best deal. Um, but no, it, in my opinion, they, I mean, they added new characters and, like, the Inklings and stuff like that. So that's why Mario Party Deluxe, in my opinion, has to be the number four spot. Hey, everybody. Squid here. Talking about my second favorite game on Nintendo Switch, Bayonetta 1. But heck, this is number three because, you know, we had to make a couple compromises. <laughs> yeah, but Bayonetta 1, okay, I ain't gonna try being silly on this one, let's try to go all serious mode, serious mode, activated. I feel like, um, Bayonetta 1 is one of the best games on Nintendo Switch for its difficulty and length. Now, the game's roughly about 10 hours long, I, I beat about one story mode, there's about 12 chapters, like, I basically beat one every 10 or so hours, I mean, one hour, one hour per level, which that's phenomenal for a game, the game's roughly 10 hours, it's like, perfect in length and the difficulty, man, the difficulty, I went on normal mode, this game was hard. I mean, you think Breath of the Wild's hard. You haven't seen anything. With this game, it is the hardest game you'll ever play in your entire life. And that is saying something. It's like, I've played a lot of hard games. I've played Breath of the Wild. And everyone knows Kirby Star Allies is the hardest game ever. I ain't usually for those Wink Wings one. But hey, you know, who cares? It's me here and the Sweaty Kid. We haven't, you know, there's just a lot of the level being at a one. I feel like most people probably gave it a chance because how, you know, it's M rated and all that stuff. So yeah. That's my hot take on it, so time to head to our number two with Nintendo. The number two spot has to go to none other than Super Mario Odyssey. Now, um, <laughs> as bad as I hate to say, this game could not be number one, um, and you will see why in just a second. Because it, as addictive and as fun this game, heck, my friend tells me all the time, she's like, yo, you need, you need to chill and take a break from Mario Odyssey. Um, I'm, I'm like, yeah, it's not that easy. Um, you guys should, should know what I'm t talking about. But um, the, the mechanics in this game, they're so overpowered. They're so good. It, 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 or rhythm. They have rhythm, if, if you guys don't want to talk about it. But uh, yeah, uh, let's move on to number one. Now we're at our number one. It is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, the best game on Switch. With its unique combat system and its fun fighting mechanics, it deserves this top spot. 
for just how unique <laughs> and how great its combat mechanics are. <laughs> in its unique boss fights, I know I said it unique with this, from the Stone Palace, the Ganon, which I, I'll say is a little underpowered, but heck, that's just because you leveled up expecting something harder. Sorry, Nintendo. I am a true gamer. <laughs> but yeah, but just how unique the game is and how large it is. Like, I still played through this game. I have over 360 hours from that game. Sure, I got my Switch last year. Heck, I just put plugged that game in about a week ago. So much fun. There's a lot more credit on Switch. And yeah. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm the Squid the Kid the 24th, or better known as the Cabin Squid. Please check that out. Leave a like on Nintendo Studio, I guess. No, you, you don't have to. You just shove that under the bridge. So yeah, I'll see you all later. Bye. So yeah, guys, this has been day one of E3. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Squid and I really didn't script this. He just sent me a bunch of clips. And uh, I'm not even talking to him right now, like in the video, like you can tell, like we didn't play, like yeah, but uh, we have better videos to come. Sub to Squid, sub to me, like this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. <laughs>